about quarter to six and I'm just going to wander back to the esky and grab those herring that I caught yesterday um, and a bit of water and we'll go find a ledge. I'm not sure where we're going to fish. As always, I'm undecided, but I'll check the forecast when I'm up the top of the hill and um, Hills, hills and more hills. Sun's up. Even getting up at 5.30, I still am running late. Anyway, we'll get to the ledge a lot earlier than we did yesterday. <sighs> All right, get ready and we'll go catch some fish. Getting close now. Alright, do we want to get further along? This does look interesting. I want to be fishing somewhere in the corner there, um, so we need to find a way down if we can because I didn't bring all the rope and you brought a shorter piece. Make our way down and hopefully just zigzag to where I want to fish. Craziness. It looks good and deep though. Let's see what's down here. 
This one's pretty slippery and dangerous too. Just gonna take my shoes off. I feel much better in uh, the socks. Feel the ground a bit better. Grip the ground a little bit better. What a location. So I think I want to fish all the way over the end because there's just like sheer cliffs in front of it. This looks pretty good too, but it looks better up the end. And you really don't want to slip down there. It's a long swim. You get out of anywhere. Yeah. No thanks. Yes. Keen to get a rope in. Because I don't like it. It's scary. It's scary without a rope anyway. Let's have a look. How's the hat? That's nuts. Crazy. How's this crack? Does it have a bottom? Yes, good. All right. We'll um, get ourselves set up and we'll be casting out there. Oh yeah, so we're just throwing a jig first up. Oh, got me. There's a sharp hook. Barely touched it. Ocean's Legacy contact jig, 60 grammer. Give that a whirl. <clears throat> Let's just try over here as well, just quickly. I right, just had a quick little sit down retie sesh and put on a bait rig. We're just going to give this a whirl. Bit easier to feel how deep places are and where the fish are sitting this way too. Sometimes. Especially when they ain't hidden jigs. I didn't even try a plastic but might try one a bit later. Let's just want to see what's out there crap tides as well today like when there's tides aren't so good the fish are a bit shut down and normally bait works a bit better for me on those days i find so that's the theory i'm going on anyway Let's see if it works sorry i was just I just turned the camera off and then turned it back on. Could be a jewfish. I felt like it sucked it in a bit. Feels a lot like a jewfish. I hope it is. And not some other. Oh, what is it? It's a big harlequin. I think. There's two. I thought it might have been a jewfish. 
They're not even that big. See, they just really open their mouth and become a big anchor sometimes, these guys. Anyway, it's an awesome fish. I'm happy with that. It's a nice fat harlequin fish. This one's a male, all blue spots male. And if it has orange spots down here, it's female. <clears throat> oh, my rig's in a hole. Let's see if we can pull it out. Come on. Oh, I'm feeling I lost my sinker or something. Lost the whole bloody lot. Okay. We'll head up. Retire. Oh yeah, heaps of bites. Heaps of bites. Come on, big ones. That's a sizable fish, I think. Oh no, it just shrunk. Oh, and then it grew again. Whoa. Oh, what? Damn it, why'd I say it shrunk and then it grew again and it got me on a ledge. What an idiot. I should have just gone hard on it. That was a good fish. I wonder what it was. just retied that far out all right quickest retie in history and i lengthened my leader it was really short last time it was only like a meter and a half slipping and sliding on the rocks let's see if we can do a bit better this time hook something big and land it not just have it go straight onto a rock it's frustrating but that's fishing sometimes Pretty much in the same spot. A few meters over, I think. All right, everyone, session done here. Um, pretty slow session. What I get? Harlequin fish. Got reefed by something. I have no idea what it was, to be honest. Could have been a kingy. Could have been a snapper. Could have been almost anything. Could have been a groper. I really, the bite wasn't long enough to be able to tell anything. Uh, we'll pack up here, move on, and um, gonna go try somewhere else for the Arvo. This looks like a really good spot for the Arvo. Where are we gonna go? I reckon we're gonna end up down there. the ledge. It's gonna happen. Okay, I've just done up a bait rig. People often ask me what I'm using, so I'm using a $1.20 snapper lead. I don't know, I think that's two or three ounces, I forget. That's on my medium outfit. I normally use like a six or an eight on the other outfit, on the heavier one. And then I normally have a three-way swivel, but I've just run out, so I've just got a big swivel there. That's 60 pounds to the sinker, just with blood knot, because I don't really care. Uni knot, 100 pounds to my hook. And uni knot to 100 pound leader that goes to my FG. That's that's pretty much how I always do my um, bait rigs. They'll be like that in some sort of way with the sinker down the bottom and the hook up higher. 
Um, sometimes with a three-way swivel, sometimes with a dropper loop. I prefer not to use a dropper loop because I have heard of uh, some of the sharp edges on here catching on your dropper loop, like when you thread it through and busting off after you hook something massive. That hit it pretty hard. Seems to be a heavy fish. What have we got? I got no idea at the moment. Oh, it breaks the cotton a bit of weed. That's why it's so heavy. Um, he's a pretty good size one. I think we'll keep him. There we go, a um, nice fat Braxy cod that took a liking to some leftover kingfish skin. Came in with a lump of weed, I thought it was a bigger fish, um, but still very tasty fish. His dinner I reckon, might keep the harlequin fish to take home, he can be dinner. Give a few seconds. Oh, yep. Yeah. What is that? Could be a harlequin. Oh, it's heavy. Whatever it is, very heavy. What is that? Big harlequin. Nice. And a lump of weed. Okay. I'm bagged out on cod now. I'm not actually able to keep another harlequin or breaksy cod after this one. So, but how's that? I love eating these things though, they are so good. So we'll keep this one. They release terrible too. Well, there you go. That just goes to show, bait was, uh, sorry, plastics were not working today. Um, like I said earlier, just it's like a week after new moon and that means the fishing's normally just a bit shut down, but bait is doing the job. Beautiful harlequin fish, delicious fish, and um, stoked on that one. A few more fillets to take home, feed the family definitely will not go to waste we'll absolutely devour that delicious i'm thinking um break sea cod for dinner tonight with some harlequin wings from yesterday's harlequin we'll take these wings and the other wings home and we can do a big cook up of that i just sort of try and maximize the use of what i'm catching and if i eat what i caught yesterday as well i caught a break sea cod yesterday then I'm keeping the fresher stuff for when I'm home. Just I just shuffle it around like that and um, try and make the most of it. You also aren't allowed to carry fish fillets smaller than 30 centimetres on a boat. Um, so that's why we eat the break sea cod and rather than eating the harlequin fish here, just the harlequin fish I can take home, break sea cod I can't really, unless I take it home whole and just gut it and gill it. Okay, so with these guys, I, well, with all my fish, I like to use the icky pick. It's starting to wear out a bit. Might need to get a new one soon. No, not really. Just the uh, sheaths coming off. Um, which is brain spiking them. So you follow the lateral line, and I think it's just up behind the eye, just slightly above the lateral line. When you get it, the fish just spasms and goes nuts. Yeah, there we go. That's what happens. And that, it may look inhumane, but it's the most humane way because it just kills them instantly. Uh, getting the wrong hole first is not the best, but it did just have a hook in its mouth and it's better than just like, 
bleeding them out and leaving them to slowly slowly die. There's no point um, in doing that. Then I just bleed them out after that. I'm gonna have some chocolate, which is in juice. Oh, that's just delightful. And now I'm gonna go for a swim. I need to freshen up. I feel shattered. We're just going to head back to camp now with an empty backpack. Well, mostly empty. It's got water in it and food for dinner and my camera gear and that's it. I've left everything else here because tonight is my last night and we'll be um, packing down camp and coming back here tomorrow morning to get out of here. But let's go enjoy the evening. I've just been sitting back chilling with the seals for a while. Okay, so brake seat cod, fillets, going on the table. That's what we're going to be cooking. Carolan coconut curry, if I pronounced it right, no idea. Bones up in here. And I will not be cutting them up smaller. I might just go like that. But that's it. Mm, no, I don't want to toss it like that. I'm going to do this. A couple of little mini zucchinis here. Oh. 
Oh, Mozzies. Piss off. This here. Okay. Side of a cliff. Birds will pick at it. The rest will blow into the ocean. She'll be right. Put some oil in. It's a fair bit of oil. Heat it up. I'm gonna get myself a poking stick. Check your spices in. And then we're just going to place all our fish in there, which is quite a lot. And then... I think I'll just chuck all my veggies in now. This is just some sliced up little zucchini. I forgot to bring lemon with me, I left it back at the esky. Bit of salt and pepper, I'll chuck that in now. I reckon it's gonna need it. I think the instructions actually told me to brown the fish, then put this in and heat it up and bring it to the boil and then add the fish back. But yeah, no, we're not doing that. Bit of naan bread on there now. Wedge that under there quickly. Ah. Lick my finger. All right, that'll do. Hot, hot. There's my dinner. Go sit down and enjoy it. Give it a quick try first. Probably going to be bloody hot as usual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. Don't know if it's as good as the other one, but it's good. And I wish I'd brought a lemon. I left it back half a lemon that I had left over back at the esky, but anyway. Still really good. Anyway, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Might see you guys in the morning, we'll see. I'm not sure if I'm gonna catch anything or not. If, um, if it's just a boat ride out of here, then we'll say, see you later, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.